Good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a story about the town that wasn't. Back in the summer of 2011 I was 19 and had re relocated my living situation for a few weeks while I was in between apartments. Long story on its own. Due to my relocation it was pretty far from my work and I'd have to drive about an hour south on the highway 45. At the time I was working in Spring, Texas and could get away with a lot of stuff because we were too short staffed and I was one of the more experienced on our night crew. On my first shift having to drive to work from this new area I ended up getting a bit turned around and lost. I was driving on what I thought had been the highway but after a bend it suddenly transitioned into a single lane road and then further down it transitioned into just a dirt road. Ever since it stopped being a highway there were no areas to turn off I left my place around 7pm to arrive at work by 8pm for my shift. This happened around the midway point of the distance, so even though I didn't check the time when it happened, uh, it'd be pretty fair to estimate that a, a sudden change in the variant happened at about uh, 7.30. Thinking this was really strange as I'd been up and down 45 a million times and never saw something like this. I figured I would just drive until I reached a rest stop or something to check my location on GPS and turn around at. It got to be a little uneasy when I went a full 20 minutes without a single spot to stop at or turn into, without seeing a single other car. I saw a bridge coming up and thought, okay, surely there'll be somewhere to turn around up wherever this bridge leads. Then I saw it. You are now entering Astokotia. At this point I was already going to be super late for work no matter what so I figured out I'll just send my boss a text and it will be fine. No signal. Figuring what the hell. I'm going to get in trouble anyway. Might as well check out this place for a few minutes and see where I end up. It was very unsettling. The town looked like it had been abandoned for decades. Buildings all around to be falling apart and in terrible disrepair. Not a single building had a light on and no cars or people anywhere in sight. The ro roads were a mix of some dirt roads and some normal roads in varying stages of disrepair. Hell, didn't even see any animals anywhere as I drove through. I could tell as I drove that this town was essentially an island. Every direction seemed to have a beach and a bridge that connected it to land, at least from what I was able to see as I drove around the higher elevated area. After about a half an hour of driving around, unable to find any signs of life, I managed to find my way back to the bridge I came in on, and got the hell out of there. When I got to work about two hours late, my boss called me back into his office to have a chat. I'd been working there since I was 16, and have never been so much as a single minute late, so he was willing to hear me out. I told him the honest truth of what happened. He seemed increasingly concerned as my story went on. He and another co-worker looked on the map out of curiosity, since they never knew about any abandoned towns in the area, and found some place called Astacotia, and assumed I'd be, just read the sign. But when they opened the Google Street View, Astacotia was nothing like the town I'd seen. The only thing they had in common was sort of a similar name and one bridge that connected it from across the lake. But the town I was in was surrounded by water and had bridges connecting it on each end. I'm only in contact with one co-worker who was at work that day and he's convinced I somehow got a bustling old style town like Astakotia somehow confused with a long abandoned ghost town even though they had nothing in common just because we couldn't find any Astakotia on the map. Two years after when I went back to live in spring for the little while, I did try finding the town again, this time with the intent of filming while there to prove it existed. But alas, no matter how much I retraced my steps, I was never able to find that strange empty path to the bridge again. As unsettling as the event itself was, retracing my steps later and not being able to find any trace of it was even more so. Honestly, if I ended up back there somehow, someday, I'd film the whole thing. 